Howdy gang and welcome to your 7th Git and GitHub tutorial and in this video I want to show you how to start on doing stuff for when it all goes wrong. Okay then, so this is kind of the stage we're at at the minute where we've made some commits to our master branch and although those commits might not represent these commits which are on the screen, we've still added about three or four so far. So we're at the point now where I want to show you how to start kind of rewinding things or undoing things if you've made mistakes or just if you want to. So say for example, you're right here in the code, you've made this commit and your boss comes to you and says, hey, actually can we rewind this to about here? I'm going to show you how to do things like that. And we're going to do these things using three different methods. Checkout commit, revert commit and reset commit. Now the reason they're coloured like this is because they're in order of danger. So this one right here is green because it's completely not dangerous, very safe and it's not going to let you edit anything in any shape or form or ruin your commit history. This one right here, revert commit, is still very very safe but potentially not quite as safe but you know still very safe. This one here, reset, is mm, unsafe basically and you want to be sure that you need to use this before you do because potentially it could ruin your repository okay so how do these three different methods work well first of all check out commit so say you're here at the code and you hand it off to your boss and your boss says can we just go back in time I just want to see what the code was like for example at this commit and you with your newfound git knowledge can say yeah I can do that. I can use a checkout commit to check out this commit. And what it's going to do is show me in my text editor the code at this point in time when I made this commit. Okay. But any changes that I do here while I'm checking out this commit, they're not going to be saved. This is read only. So I'm not going to be able to destroy the commit history or alter it in any way, shape, or form. So that's why it's really safe. This second one here, revert, basically it lets us undo a particular commit. So again, say for example, you're here, you hand it to your boss and he says, actually, don't really like this slider. Can you revert that commit? You can say, yeah, I can do that. So revert commit is going to basically put a big X through this commit as if it never happened. It's going to revert the changes of this. OK, so almost kind of like delete it out of the commit chain. It doesn't delete it and we'll see how it works later. But the effects are the same. It's like it never existed. OK. So the last one, reset commit, is the danger one. And what that is going to do is kind of permanently take you back in time to a particular commit. So again, you're here, your boss says, actually, we don't need any of these three last commits. Can you go back to here? And we're never going to use these three commits again. You can use a reset commit to do that. You can reset to this commit and it's going to permanently delete all of these commits and your code is going to go back to how it was at this point in time. OK, so we're going to see examples of all these different three commands now. OK, then, so I'm still in the git one repository and what I've done for the sake of this tutorial is just added two more commits. So I'll do a git log to show you those git log and then on one line and you can see these five commits in total. So the new ones I've added is this added new feature, which is just this simple JavaScript file. OK. And the second one I did was on the index file, which was added a heading to the index file right there. So I made those two commits. Now what we're going to do is start rewinding. So the first one, your boss comes to you and says, OK, I want to see the state of the code in an earlier commit. So I want to see the state of the code, for example, in this commit right here where you added the index title. Well, you can use checkout to do that. So the way we do that is by saying git and then check out and then you need to tell git which kind of commit you want to check out. And the way we do that is by referencing this thing right here, this unique ID. So I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to paste it down here below. So if I click enter now, just check out this thing on the left. It's going to change. OK, it's deleted that right there for a start. Now this JavaScript file has gone as well. And we're basically seeing the code in the state it was in at this commit right here. OK, where we just added the index um, title. So that's this thing. So any changes we do here are read only. We're not going to alter the commit history in any way, shape or form. So this is really good for going back in time, seeing the state of the code at one particular commit. Now, when we're finished, the way we get back to, you know, the, the top of the stack is by saying git checkout master and master is the branch. Now, we're going to see branches later, so don't worry too much about this now. We're just saying we want to check out the master branch again, because what we did was detach from the master branch to go to a particular commit. So now we're reattached to the master branch, the head of the master branch. OK, and now we see that code again. OK, cool. So that is how we kind of just go back in time using git checkout. 
The second thing I want to show you is git revert. And remember, git revert basically kind of undoes one particular commit. So again, let's do a git log to see what we've got. And they're going to all go on one line. So we've still got all of these different commits. Now your boss says to him, well, I tell you what, you see this new feature right here. I want to undo that. I don't want that new feature anymore. You can say to him, I'm going to use a git revert to do that. So the way we do this is git revert. And again, we need to say which commit. And it's this thing right here. So I'm going to copy that dude and paste it in and press enter. Now you get this scary screen right here. Don't be put off. This is basically just kind of like a text editor and it's asking you to give this commit a title because it's making a new commit for us. And I'll explain this in a minute. So you can see the changes to be committed. We're going to delete that feature.js file, right? Because that was the commit we want to kind of undo. So what I'm going to do to get out of this screen, we don't need to change anything in this screen, right? To get out of it, you want to press shift and colon. So we get this little sign at the bottom and then press W, Q, press enter and it goes out. So what's happened now is we've removed that feature.js file, right? Now, if I do a git log and then one line, what you're going to see is actually we've not removed that commit. What we've done is just added a new commit called revert added new feature. So what this commit here has done has basically undone anything that we did in this thing right here. So say, for example, we added the JavaScript file here and we say we want to revert this uh, commit. Then what it does is it makes a new commit which reverts. It undoes anything that was made in here. OK, so we still have access to this commit in the history. It's just reverted it at the top. OK, and that's why it took us through to the text editor, because it's asking us if we want to add a new message for that particular commit. Make sense? Cool. So that's how we kind of undo one particular commit using git revert. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the git reset. And this is the thing that is going to potentially destroy the contents of your repository. So be really careful you want to do this. So anyway, this is our log and your boss comes to you and says, OK, you know what? These last four commits right here, we don't need them anymore. So what I want you to do is go back in time, take the code to this point in time and just work from there again. OK, so the way we do this is by saying git reset. Then we say which uh, commit we want to reset to, which is this thing right here. So I'm going to copy that dude and paste it in. Now, if we were to hit enter now, although it would take us down here, it will give us a message. I'll show you. It'll give us a message saying we've got some unstaged changes, right? The index and the styles file. So basically what that means is we've gone back in time to this commit, but it's not changed our working directory. Everything we did after is still here, right? But they're not committed. And if I do a git log, if I say git log one line, then we're not going to see those extra commits. We've only got these two, but the changes that we made in these commits they're still hanging around in our editor, right? Just in case. So if we changed our mind, we could re-add um, individual files or all of the files and commit them again. So I suppose this could be good if you want to kind of uh, take all of these commits and put them into one. You can add them all here and make another commit. Or if you want to rewind in time and actually, you know, not preserve these changes, what you do is git, then it's reset, then it's the branch again. I'm just going to hit up because we can get that command again, cycle through them. And then once we've specified which commit we want to go to, we pass in the hard flag. And what this is going to do is take us back to that particular commit. But because we passed in the hard flag, it's not going to retain any kind of changes from the commit afterwards, right, um, in the editor. So if I click that now, then you'll see them disappear. OK, so now we no longer have those things. And this, if we just get rid of it, is no longer going to be in the folder right here. Uh, in the styles, we only have that one style right there as well. And I'll tell you what, I'll just go right back to the start here. So let's copy that dude. If we can just, oh my God, grab it. OK, Control C. I'm just going to get rid of that and that over here. Now, if I say git reset and then the particular commit I want to go to, the first one, and then say hard. What that is going to do is potentially take away the index title, right? So press enter. Now, if we open up the index, we no longer see the title, right? And if we do a git log, one line, 
we only see that one commit and guess what there's no way now of me getting back those commits that come afterwards they're permanently deleted and that is why i said be very careful if you're ever using this git reset because it could potentially ruin all of your files or delete them all okay so there we go that's how we kind of rewind go back to old revisions of code to see them etc um, now we know how to do that what i want to do is introduce in the next tutorial the concept of branching which is going to let us work on new features in our projects without editing the kind of core code based on the master branch okay so i'll see you in that very next tutorial